Good morning, listeners, and welcome back. You're tuned in to the Internet Marketing and Business Solutions radio show with Ron Kuhlman from RCS Technology Solutions, <clears throat> where we help our customers attract, convert, retain their ideal customers and clients using various Internet marketing techniques and methods. The purpose of this show is we break it up into three sections, and I bring on two subject matter experts who give out actionable tips and advice to help you achieve even greater success. And in the third section, I give away some free information, how you, what you can use to get you guessed it, achieve even greater success. So today we are blessed to have from Australia, I believe, Kate Laterso, who is a, an incredible inspirational speaker, motivational coach, rather. She's larger than life. She shoots straight from the hip, and she doesn't think twice about dropping the F-bomb if it's necessary. And we all need a little attitude adjustment every once in a while. And Kate won't pull punches, helping her clients to unlock their passions in life and turning it into livelihood that pays big dividends. Kate, how are you today? Hi, I'm great. It's actually Kat, not Kate. How are you, Ronald? Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it, all right. It, I'm excellent. How are you doing? Yeah, doing great. I'm excited to be on the show. It's 1 a.m. here, and so I've, um, I've stayed up to kick some butt if necessary, but to, to share some, um, some, I guess, hard-won wisdom and inspiration that can hopefully help. Excellent. Uh, yeah, and um, you're calling in from Australia, am I correct? That's right. I am on the Gold Coast of Australia at the moment, which is um, my home base. Wow, that's amazing. I hope the listeners appreciate it. Again, you're calling in from Australia. It's 1 a.m., so, uh, you know, that's dedication. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you help business owners, entrepreneurs, and people in general just have even better success in life? Yeah, absolutely. My, I mean, my background is pretty um, conventional, actually. I grew up middle class in Melbourne, Australia, and I was on a pretty normal pathway as far as pursuing a corporate dream. I wanted to be a lawyer, and that was the plan. And I had the grades to do that. Um, I got into law school, and basically as soon as I got into college, I realized that all of this stuff I'd felt inside of me for as long as I could remember, even since I was quite young, about not wanting to live a a normal life was just not going to go away. And basically I went from being this uh, A-plus student who followed all of the rules and always wanted to impress her parents and teachers to all of a sudden just starting to rebel on the normal life. I walked out of law school within a matter of weeks of starting. Um, I didn't tell my parents. I continued to go to campus, but I started a little entrepreneur endeavor in the in the um, retail section of the college, giving people facials, which I was unqualified to do, and just basically trying to hide away and figure out what I wanted to do with my life and ended up going to Europe, um, floated around there for a little bit, just kind of filling in time as a lot of people do at that age, and then came back to Australia and I actually became a personal trainer for 13 years and I fell into that because it was a way where I could live the life that I wanted to live and also make a lot of money. Um, I've always been good at selling. I was selling things door to door since I was about three or four years old and making little clubs and various ventures throughout my growing up years. And with personal training, I was able to to sell and to create the schedule I wanted and live the life I wanted, but I always knew that it wasn't, um, my my life wasn't going to be about fitness. And what I really wanted to do was inspire people to live their dreams and to know that they have a purpose and that there's a reason that they were born and that actually if you make a decision to, you can create the business and life that you want. Um, The thing is, that this was all just kind of like a fantasy idea in my head, which I think a lot of entrepreneurs can relate to, having a dream and having a vision but feeling a little bit like, well, you know, who am I to do that or how on earth could I make money from it? So eventually I I basically couldn't stand the internal pressure anymore and I started a blog and that was in 2007. And I saw it as a way to, um, I guess, branch out from personal training sessions one-on-one to maybe start to do some higher income earning activities and reach a broader audience, which happened. But what also happened was I fell back in love with writing, which had been a love of mine growing up. 
And basically over about the next four or five years, I built a very successful online fitness business, which was largely based on me writing blog posts and just sharing my thoughts. Um, I built a multiple six-figure online fitness business. I was one of the first successful online fitness businesses in Australia at the time. And then finally got up the courage to follow my real dream, which was which is around success and around business and around purpose, like I mentioned earlier. So in about 2012 or 13, I started to transition out under my own name, um, went through quite a few periods of upheaval and not making money and ended up over $100,000 in debt and nearly bankrupt um, and basically just had to come to a real turning point in my business of deciding whether I wanted to cave, I suppose, and, and start doing things just for money in terms of selling coaching programs and selling things online that didn't really excite me or whether I would go all in to create the business that I really wanted. And I decided to go all in. I decided to walk away from the money that I was making at the time and I just made a commitment that I was going to find a way to make money doing what I love and to share my message with the world. Um, and it took me probably six to 12 months to really start to, I guess, claw my way out of the debt hole that I'd been in. But fast forward now, about five years later or four years later, and I have a multiple seven-figure online business. I get to wake up every day and do exactly what I like, basically. And what I like to do is to write a lot, to speak a lot, and to really share my message with entrepreneurs, leaders, and creators who feel that they were born for more and feel that they have a powerful message to share. Wow. I don't even know where to start yet. I mean, such a... We talk about entrepreneurs having a path, and very few entrepreneurs, which I am one as well, we don't just wake up one day and become successful. You have, as you just said, a seven-figure online business. But, you know, when we see people, I'd like to encourage entrepreneurs to understand, when they see somebody that's successful today, usually that's a minimum of 5, 10, and sometimes even 15 years after they started Am I correct? Yeah, I, and I love that you brought this up because I think that there's so much online at the moment on social media that gives the impression, perhaps not deliberately, but I think it's easy to, to have the impression that if you just set up a website and a lead page and a Facebook ad that you're going to make millions overnight. And I think that logically people know that's not true, but it's very easy to get caught up in the hype. I can sit here now and say, hey, I get to wake up every day and, and I really get to do exactly what I want. My life and my business is entirely by design. I have um, 10 people on my staff now who do all of the things that I don't really want to do. And so I can just sit there and write and speak and make money doing what I love. But there's 10 years that goes into getting to where I am now. I've been online now for 10 years. Um, You know, I've always been good at selling. I just had that entrepreneur spirit since I can remember. So that was never a problem. But I didn't know how to manage my money. I certainly didn't know how to attract in the type of clients and community members that I really wanted at first. And a big thing that held me back was, I guess I didn't feel like I could do what I really wanted to do. I felt like, um, who, you know, who am I to say that? And I'm not good enough. And people wouldn't want to listen to me talking about that. But despite all of those fears and uncertainties, I really had faith from day one. I remember from the first year saying to myself, if I just keep going and I, and I refuse to quit, I'm, I'm going to make it. I'm going to be successful. And that was a commitment that I made to myself. Within the first few months of starting my blog, it was just a decision. Well, if I just don't stop and I keep showing up, I believe I'm going to be successful. I think that that's what I was born for. And I can honestly say, hand in my heart, that I did that. I was consistent the whole time through pregnancies and through travel and through getting married and through... Um, being hospitalized for half a year at one point and all the the various other ups and downs of life, I just kept going and I just kept producing content. And one thing that I think entrepreneurs need to understand is that it's about showing up every single day, regardless of the short-term outcomes. I see a lot of people who launch something online or try a new endeavor like a podcast or a show and then they won't get the results they want and basically they run around, you know, like chicken little, like the sky is falling, the sky is falling instead of just continuing to do the fucking work. Um, and so I really want to empower people to live their purpose and to, and, and I say press play, I say life is now press play at the end of every blog I write. And I, I have a lot of, you know, compassion for people around being able to live the life you want. But I also think entrepreneurs need to wake up and understand what it actually takes and just make that commitment to doing the work until it does in fact work. 
I love it. And, and being consistent, I mean, you, you, I think you really touched on, on two big things. And, and I know we're both going to be speaking at the Habitude uh, Warrior Conference in Dallas uh, later mm. in April. But uh, and there's also a gentleman who should be speaking there, uh, Greg Reed. And he talks about a, a book called Three Feet from Gold. And uh, he's a big believer in also, you know, he, he talks about stability. And you just hit the nail on the head, you know, you know, sticking to it, being consistent, showing up every day. But also, the second thing you said, which I think is huge for entrepreneurs to hear, is you have to believe. You have to believe in yourself. You know what I mean? Your why, you know, has to be bigger. You know, has to be big enough that it's compelling you. You know, it's pulling you. You're not going towards a goal. You're being pulled towards that goal. You know what I mean? I absolutely agree, and it's it's funny that you mentioned that particular concept right now because I actually did a Facebook live stream on this exact topic several hours ago around why entrepreneurs don't reach their income goals, and, and I think that a lot of the time people are walking around saying, I want to make a million dollars because it sounds cool, and they're not connected to why they would want that. And I was sharing with my audience that my current income goal is to reach a million dollars a month, um, and I guess it does sound cool, but it's not because I need a million dollars a month. I don't think anybody actually needs a million dollars a month. I don't think I need the current income that I make. I could be happy on any amount of income. But the reason that that's my goal is because it's reflective of my vision. And my vision is to be the number one most transformative author, speaker, and success coach in the world and to impact millions of entrepreneurs, leaders, creators, and visionaries to live their purpose. And so in order to fulfill that vision, making a million dollars a month is just a stepping stone. I just see it as a marker, or, you know, reflective of the journey that I'm going on. Um, and obviously, I'm sure I'll find places to put that money in, to invest it into and to give back more, as I have with hitting every other money goal. But the why is all that matters. It's always about the why. And if you're not connected to your why and to your vision, what's really driving you forward, and as you said, what's pulling you, then you're not going to hit any money goal, but you're also going to just go round and round in circles and probably be likely to be easily distracted by tiny objects and by what every other entrepreneur is doing, whether or not it's even working, rather than sticking to your own path. I love it. Yeah, that's that uh, shiny, shiny uh, syndrome, you know, the shiny object syndrome, whatever is new and current isn't always the best, and you can be distracted if you're not staying focused. I also love one of the things you talked about, how you, you lived your life. You've created a life that you wanted. And uh, I just spent two months in St. Croix, and I'm back in Boston, and it's like 40 degrees, you know, and rainy, and there's still snow on the ground. But I just spent two months down in St. Croix, and I was working while I was down there. But because I own an Internet marketing company, and, and I have seven people that work for me, I can literally work anywhere I want. So I've created a life I don't need a vacation from, and I actually uh, did a couple of uh, Facebook lives and regular videos surrounding creating a laptop lifestyle and creating a life you don't need a vacation from. But it certainly sounds like you, you've already done that. You're there, and, you know, mm. it's a reality. So the listeners, you know, they too can create, you know, their ideal life, and, and you can work. You could pick up today and go to Paris, am I correct, and, and still function as long as there's the Internet, am I right? Oh, absolutely. And actually, one of my earliest goals in my online business, when I started in 2007, my first online mentor was an Australian by the name of Yara Starak, um, who's quite well known in the internet marketing world, and I joined his $25 a month blog mastermind program. And he spoke about being able to work from anywhere and just would be on the laptop and be location free and sit by the beach. And I just thought to myself, well, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and, it, and actually, it was just a decision. It was really honestly just a decision. And I just believe if you make up your mind and you focus on what you want, you're going to get it. And to be honest, even when I was 11 years old and I first read um, the, the original copies of the Tony Robbins um, books, which my dad had on his bookshelf, I remember reading Tony Robbins books when I was 11 years old. And I remember thinking to myself, well, that's what I'm going to do. Even though at the same time I was on the pathway to become a lawyer, it was just a recognition inside of me. So I always had it in my mind um, that I would do the laptop life thing and travel. And then from about 2011, I could have actually afforded to do that. But I, was, I, I had had my first child and she was two years old. And then in 
2013, I fell pregnant with my second child, our second child, and um, it was a very scary pregnancy. I ended up hospitalized for half of the pregnancy and told a lot of scary things would happen, and none of them did, thanks God. So that was prey, but it was a very stressful year. And as soon as our son came along when he was four weeks old, I just said, that's it, let's get out of here. And when, when our son was four weeks old, we literally packed up a five-bedroom house in our hometown of Melbourne, put the contents in a storage container, and then travelled the world for two years. And so our son, who's now three and a half, has been in over 50 countries. He's an expert traveller. We lived gypsies out of two suitcases between four of us for two years. And that's the period of time where my business went from making about 30000 a month to over 100000 a month. And it's continued to grow beyond that. But it happened whilst living on the road with a four-year-old and a newborn and living out of a suitcase. I love it. You're on the road traveling. You have two children, toddlers. You're traveling and, and you're still, you went from uh, 30000 to 100000 uh, a month. I also know that you've written 47 e-books uh, for, on, are currently on for sale on Amazon. That's right. I've, I have 47 published. I, I, I know that sounds like a lot. I guess they're quite short books. They're easy to consume. You can find them at booksforkickasswomen.com. They are for men as well, but I heard that my branding is for women with my books. And I've, I have a lot more books that are sitting on my desktop that are not yet complete. So I actually feel like I've been quite, um, quite slow going with my books lately, even though I have a lot that are already published. Yep, it's amazing. We're down to like three minutes. Could you uh, possibly maybe definitely give out your contact information uh, and maybe if you have a, one or two of these books that people could uh, start with to, to get the ball rolling or to get from one level to the next. And i, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited to meet you in person in Dallas. At the, we're both speaking at the Habit to Warrior Conference, and I'm super, super excited to meet you in person. Yes, likewise. I can't wait, and I so appreciate you having me on this show. Thank you so much. Um, well, here's the thing. Anybody listening along who's interested can actually get one of my Amazon selling books for free. That's my gift that I give out in my community. So if you go to katlaterzo.com forward slash free gift, so it's K-A-T-L-O-T-E-R-Z-O.com forward slash free gift, you can have a free copy of my Amazon book, Sprint Your Way Rich, The Adrenaline, Adrenaline Lover's Guide to Self-Created Wealth Online. And um, basically that's about pushing really hard and going all in to create the life that you want. So that's also one way to connect with me is just to, to jump on to my email um, database if you would like to. But alternatively, you're certainly welcome to connect with me on social media anywhere. I'm under Kat Latozo on all of the usual platforms. I'm very engaged on social media. I respond to every message and I, I do have a big following as you you know, you might imagine after a lot of years online, but one thing that's really important to me apart from my writing and my messaging is to be engaged with my community. So you'll find that it's a really fun community to be part of. Everybody kind of seems to know each other. It just feels like a big party all the time, but it's a party where I'm kicking everybody's ass. <laughs> so I definitely recommend come and say hi on Facebook or on Snapchat or anywhere that you like at all. Um, and I guess, you know, the final thing that I would want to say to people is really just be honest with that you're truly being pulled towards and perhaps you've been telling yourself I can't do that or not yet or, I, you know, I'm not worthy enough or I don't know how. And all of those things are actually bullshit because you'll live your entire life telling that story and that's what most people do. So if you want to have it all in business and life, you can, but you have to make a decision to commit to it and it has to be a decision to commit regardless of knowing how, regardless of being ready, regardless of anything else at all and essentially just to leap forward in faith. And that's exactly what I teach my clients and my online community to do. I, I produce a lot of free content every day so you can listen and learn and um, actually see massive changes just from following along with my free content. And then I have a ton of different coaching programs online as well. I love it. And for the listeners, uh, I'm going to spell your name again, but I want to let everybody know just in case you are unable to write this down. This show will be archived. It will be on this radio station's website, WCAP 980 AM at the, uh, out of Lowell, Massachusetts, but also on my website, uh, rcstechnologysolutions.com. Go to media, radio shows. This episode and every other episode is there, so 
You can listen to the great information you just uh, heard, but you can also uh, get the, the um, contact information again, and I'm going to spell the name. It's K-A-T-L-O-T-E-R-Z-O. And uh, I want to thank you very much. And again, I look forward to seeing you in Dallas. You've been listening to the Internet Marketing and Business Solutions Radio Show with Ronald Coleman of RCS Technology Solutions, where we help our clients attract, convert, retain their ideal clients using various Internet marketing techniques and methods.